We are back. All right. These are questions for both of us. All right. This is from Megan, who's a senior. Is it hard for you to stay strong in your relationships with God in your professions? Good question. It is. It, it's very difficult. But I don't think it's, it's any more difficult necessarily than it is uh, in any profession. I think... Um, you know, we, we kind of, you know, we travel a lot and it's difficult to stay together as a family. So we really have to work hard on that. But um, in our relationship with the Lord, I mean, that should be a day, day to day thing, a moment by moment thing where we are conversing with the Lord, where we're, um, uh, you know, we're praying, we're spending time in, in the Lord's scripture. We're, we're reminding ourselves of the gospel all the time, what God has done for us, because I mean, we we still mess up all the time, you know. So I think, as a as a uh, as far as our relationship with the Lord goes, we know that that doesn't change because of Christ. Because we have Christ in our life, that never changes. So it's just a matter of you know, you know, talking to the Lord about it and asking forgiveness and and thanking the Lord and and just walking with Him as He uh, walks with us in, in life. Yeah. I would say it's it's definitely not any more difficult than it is for y'all going to school every day and having after school activities and sports if you're in sports or music um, life just gets really busy and um, but like Ben touched on being faithful with today a good friend of ours said you know we all at the end of our lives pray that we hear God say to us well done good and faithful servant and he made the point of, he pointed out to us that he didn't say, well done, good and famous servant, or well done, good and fruitful even. Um, he says, well done, good and faithful. And so that means taking today whatever it looks like, whether it's being at home all day with my kids, or whether it's going out and singing for however many people and getting to talk to them after shows, or whether that's going to a game and conversing with people around me in the stands you know our our responsibility is to draw near to Christ and to love him and to be faithful with every moment that he's given us this question kind of goes along with that it says uh, this is from Shannon who's a junior how do you guys make time for seeking after God in your lives when you are already so busy um, and that's probably the, the most challenging thing about our lifestyle is that making time for God, we really have to say no to a lot of good things out there that we could spend our time doing just so that we can make sure we're taking care of the most important things. You know, we have to make sure that we spend time with the Lord in His Word and, and quiet our lives down so that we can even pray. And um, sometimes that means not going to hang out with a bunch of people. And sometimes that means staying home and sometimes that means um, you know sacrificing a little sleep time or uh, TV time or whatever that time is uh, where you you like to relax I mean sometimes we have to sacrifice to be able to uh, make time for that so it is it is difficult at times um, and and seeking God is you know it's it's an up uphill uh, you know swimming upstream type of battle mm -hmm. on a, on a daily basis because we're we're not at home you know this world is not our home and we still live in in sinful flesh here and we we know that um we know that it's it this is not all that there is so um god has a a much greater plan for our lives and and we have to you know we have to give our lives to him before he can show that to us mm -hmm. yeah. okay next question is uh from Nicole, and this kind of falls well into that. It's she, Nicole's a junior, and she asked, "How do you both balance career and family?" I'll let um, you answer that. Well, logistically, we we make a point of trying not to be away from each other more than a week ever. So that means, like we talked about earlier, just flying a lot to see each other, mm -hmm. and. Um, we went through our schedule a couple days ago. It took us two hours to go through the through the schedule for the season. And 36 flights later, 56 airline tickets, tickets yeah. 
It's a lot um, of money. Yeah. <laughs> to stay together during the season, but yeah. that's that's you what we have to do. You just gotta do what you gotta do. So you know, I try and as much as I can keep my shows. You know, during while Ben is gone, or um, you know, traveling when he's traveling, instead of taking time away from our family to do things while we're while we have that precious time together. So. Um, a lot of it is just planning ahead, making sure that that we have that time together. All right, next question is um, from John, who's a freshman, and I'm going to throw Michael, who's a sophomore, his question in at the same time. It's, how did you guys meet? And Michael was asking, when you met, did you both know that you knew you had connections with Mr. Franzen? <laughs> Um, well, I knew I had connections with Mr. Franzen because he was on my team, but when we met, I don't know if you really knew Paul. Did you know Paul at the time when we met? I didn't when we met, but, but Paul had, Paul knew my best friend's boyfriend at the time. They're not dating anymore, but, but Paul, uh, told my best friend, Lindsay, who at the time we hadn't even met, we were just going to college. We were freshmen. In college, and uh, and uh, she she knew Paul, and I knew Paul, and it was really crazy, and we're BFFs ever since. So thank you, Paul, for that. <laughs> so we met basically through uh, uh, Mr. Franzen. I call him Mr. Franzen now because I'm talking to you. This is weird. <laughs> I call him Paul usually, but Paul and I were on the same team with uh, an older guy named Dan Hefner. Dan is married to Juliana's oldest sister, Liz. And so Dan introduced uh, me, uh, well, Dan and Liz introduced me to Juliana through email at first. So our, e our relationship started through email. Um, that's how we first... Way before eHarmony. <laughs> yeah, which is interesting, but... <laughs> Uh, when we met, she she was not impressed, so it took a while to oh convince her. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, two years later, we started dating. Two years after we met. Right? Yeah, it was a while. It, was, it might have been even two, a little bit four, longer than that. Four it years. Was longer. Was it a, wasn't four, but it was... I was a junior, somewhere. and then we started dating when I was a sophomore in college. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well... <laughs> Um, I think there's one more question on here that we haven't answered, and we want to answer that. It says, what advice do you have for a student going off to college? That's from Andrea, who is a senior. So what advice do you have since... My advice here? to you, Andrea, and to all the other girls out there is to not expect yourself to be perfect if you're anything like me you had very high hopes or have very high hopes for going in and changing your campus and you know living in a way that's going to make it obvious what you stand for and all of those things are very good things but I I think the tendency in that being your focus is for you to feel the pressure of being perfect and when we pressure ourselves to be perfect, then it really takes out the reason that Christ came. You know, He came because we could not be perfect, and He had to come and live the righteous life that He lived because He knew that we were unable to live righteously. And not that that's like a license to go out and do whatever the heck you want, but but just to give yourself some grace to to be able to share the gospel in your life you have to be willing to be humble enough to say that you've messed up and to be humble enough to say that you're not perfect and and not to go in with like this this like power struggle of I'm going to be this awesome Christian but to go in humbly you know Christ came to serve not to be served and that's the way that we need to live our lives amongst your peers and amongst um you know, your roommate that you'll probably have and everything, it, just to live humbly and to um, love Christ and to walk with Him daily would be my advice for you for sure. And um, So yeah, just release yourself and 
release the girls around you and your friends around you from feeling like you have to be perfect because when you do that you take the glory away from the real person who is Christ and the only person who is able to live life perfectly for you and that needs to be our message way before look how cool we are needs to be our message so that's my advice my advice is just uh, care way more what God thinks about you and your spirit than about what everybody else thinks yeah. you know the bottom line is you know we all have these insecurities and we all have these things we want to impress people we want to do the right thing do the do the best thing make the right decision but the bottom line is you know we we really have one person that we really want to please with our lives and uh, that's our Heavenly Father and he's already pleased uh, pleased with you through Christ and um, so so really there that should take pressure off mm -hmm. and you should just uh, be you know come to know him better um, just just get to know your Heavenly Father better that's the most important thing yeah. I would say um, going going forward from this point so well I think that's that's it from the questions and uh, we just want to thank you all so much for letting us Thanks, guys. share with you and uh, I'm sending some baseball cards so hopefully Mr. Franzen will get those and be able to pass those out to you all as well um, Paul Franzen is like uh, like I'm like Luke Skywalker and he's like Yoda in my life so um, you know you can do with that whatever you want you can call him, call him Yoda what would they do with that? I don't even know who you're talking about <laughs> make, is that make, Star Wars or make Star Trek? make fun of Mr. Franzen because is they don't what really I'm, ever know. I'm really trying to get them to make fun of him a little bit if we can work that out so go ahead have fun with it All right. we'll see y'all later guys. bye <laughs>